coming out towards the start of the gorge here. There's it, zero kilometer. Right away. This isn't him, and uh, Betty all cramped up yesterday, and his legs literally locked out. So I think at the moment this is uh, Mikel Honore who's gone. He's gone a, a day early of his uh, 26th birthday. That's <laughs> tomorrow, as he realised that. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the distance, it is Fabio Fellini who's coming up from Kazakhstan. And if Fellini gets up here, he's an Italian. Uh, form an alliance with the Danish rider here on our way and he's coming across pretty quick now they've just announced they've got a lead of 48 seconds looks like it's going to be on we will be leading them over the top of the FX King of the Mountain in uh, Ashton but it's really Norton Summit it is indeed I think that's a gesture made by Fellini because uh, the first man to attack today was on the Danish man gone clear no reaction from the field the Australian champion gets best of the rest. Three points in the back. All well, the fans are out in Lobethal. And there is Fellini over the line. Flick of the elbows to indicate I'm about to get out of the saddle <laughs> as the road kicks up. It's a, the universal warning to the rider behind you in the wheel. But this was for third place and the lead out and the sprinters getting amongst it. So Alperson de Koenig decided they wanted to go for it as Caden Groves, number 71, the Italian Fabio Fellini. Fellini leads them through. Honore stays in the wheel. He won the first KOM. So the sprints are all for Fellini. The same order. As we see now, what's left on the line 1.1 1 .1 second. And the teammate at, Al at Alpacin de Kuhn saying, Ease off. Nobody's coming. You can go a bit easier. And Caden Groves rolls across. So not only do they have to well, navigate hang on. that... Sorry, Anna, we've got an accident in the peloton. And there it is. Astana riders have been caught out together here at the moment. So that is Moscon, furthest away. Oh, nearest the camera, sorry, Gianni Moscon. But this man is going to momentarily be the new leader in the FX King of the Mountains. So well done. Now, did the second rider survive? Fellini, I'm not sure he has, but we'll keep an eye on him on the climb. Job done for Miguel Honore. Oh, he hasn't. He's just about to be passed. No second place there. Now it's all about... Oh, oh. I think he did. <laughs> Do you think he did? <laughs> Bora Hanskar, they've been known for surprise attacks where the rest of the peloton doesn't exactly expect them to go. Think back to last year's Giro, won by Jai Hindley in Torino. For some reason, released uh, Honore. Maybe a better offer came from education first. Uh, this year, and he always changed teams. And I wonder what he thinks now, having let him go. He's had a good day today. Maybe not in the best of health. Rowan Dennis right at the back of the peloton. So it's quite possible that Dennis was held up, and I, there's no frame number on his bike. So he's changed bikes. He's changed bikes as well, Rowan Dennis. Well, the three best climbers in the race have now emerged on the steep slopes of the corkscrew, and they are almost now at the summit. Just around this corner, Jay Vine, he'll be looking to take maximum points in the FX King of the Mountains competition, and that he does. Yates over second, then it's Bill Bell, but he's just going for the biggest advantage over the rest he can get. And this is going to be one of his big victories for Jay Vine. He's a pretty new rider on the block on our television screens, despite his two wins in the Tour of Spain last year. But look at the finish here by Bilbao, has really produced the goods, and Yates is going for Bilbao, it's going to be really tight on the line, I'll give it to Bilbao, he thinks he's right, Yates second. The debrief continues, not quite the race leader, but a stage victory, that was a beautiful win. Yeah, that was the main goal for the team, no? Uh, yesterday we were a bit disappointed because the race uh, didn't went as uh, we expected, we lost some uh, good seconds there in, uh, in the finish line. And today, uh, this was uh, the best day for me, you know, with a short and uh, explosive kick and uh, also with a, with a fast descent until the finish line. I had some difficulties to join Jates uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, the UI guy. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yes, I have, to, I have to go in my, in my pace, as usually do, and then uh, join them in the in the last 300 meters that they knew that 
was going to be easier and then maybe he was going to relax a bit, but they did uh, such a, a fast uh, ascent that uh, for me it was difficult to arrive. And then I did just my sprint in the top and I knew that uh, I was going to have uh, good possibilities. No? Uh, they were looking also for the overall and I was more focused on making my best sprint and trying to trying to win today. This is provisional as always, the Hahn stage three, Bill Bauer gets his win and the other two rightly given the same time on the line, they've got to be split by a second. Michael Matthews comes across, he fights back, he gets, he delivers fourth place. Jay Vine up top, he holds a 15 second lead over Pello Bilbao. Simon Yates with his second place finish today and in third. Magnus Sheffield stays in the top five. Right on, ladies and gentlemen.